Hi, I'm John Griffin, Microscopy Imaging Officer at the Australian Cancer Research Foundation's Cancer Biology Imaging Facility at the Institute for Molecular Bioscience on the University of Queensland's St. Lucia campus. This is the first of a series of videos we'll be doing on microscopy and image processing and analysis. Today we'll be looking at how to do basic image processing in Image J. We'll start with a single plane, three color image from one of the Zeiss LSM 710 confocal laser scanning microscopes here at the IMB, but the basic technique will work for any grayscale images. To open my file, I'll just drag it onto my image J icon in my dock, but I could just as well have started up image J and selected file open from the menu to open my image. Now my image is open and I can see I've got a three channel image. I've got a red channel for mitochondria, a green channel for actin, and a blue channel for the nucleus, but I can't view all of my channels at the same time. Ideally, I'd like to be able to see all of that information overlaying on top of each other so I can see what the relationships are. So, in order to do that, I'm going to need to split this image into the three constituent images that make it up. So if I go to the menu and choose image, color, and split channels, you can see it splits my image into the three constituent channels. Now right now they're displayed in color and this is what's called indexed color. And what I'd really like is to have three grayscale images so I can use those grayscale or black and white images to build my figure for my publication. So to do that, I'm going to select my image or one of my images and I'm going to go back up to the menu to image type and choose 8-bit and right now you can see that 8-bit is already selected but if I select it again my image changes from an indexed color image to a grayscale image so I'll do the same for my other two images image type and reselect 8-bit to change it to black and white and then image, type, and 8-bit to set it to a grayscale image again. Now to save your images, I'm used to working with Photoshop shortcuts, so generally to keep from saving over my original data, I use Command-Shift-S or Control-Shift-S on a PC. Um, if you do that in image J, it'll apply a smoothing filter to your image. So to stay safe, I just generally go to File and select Save or Save As. Now Command S will work, um, but again, I'm used to shortcuts in Photoshop. So we'll just go to Save and we'll save this. And I don't like their naming convention, so I'll change it to something else. And I wanna know that this is my blue channel, so I'll call it Blue. And I'll just save it on the desktop. I will do the same thing with the green. File, save, and I don't like the naming convention. This one's not green, it's green. We'll save that to the desktop. And finally, file, save or save as, and this will be our red channel. Okay, great. So I've got my original saved so I can turn those into, into my individual channels in my figure. Now to recombine these into a composite image showing my red channel, my green channel, and my blue channel all in the same image, I'm going to need to go back up to my menu. Again, select image. And he here we're going to go back down to color and we're going to choose Merge Channels. And that brings up our Merge Channels dialog. Now the first channel is red, the second channel is green, the third channel is blue, but you'll notice we've got four more channels. We've got gray, and then we've got cyan, magenta, and yellow. I just wanna make sure that my red image is assigned to my red channel, my green image is assigned to my green channel, and my blue channel my blue image is assigned to my blue channel. If they weren't, I could select them from the drop-down box. 
Right now, create composite is ticked. We won't talk about what that means, but I want to untick that. And then we'll choose, uh, sorry, usually I keep source images just in case I make a mistake and I want to have those raw images and I don't want to have to go back and open them up again. Then we'll choose OK. And you can see that gives us our basic three color image. Now I can choose to save this file, save as TIFF, and we always save as a TIFF. And I'll just call this one composite. And we'll save it back to the desktop. And we're done. I hope that helps you a bit with processing your images from the microscope. Next time, we'll take a look at how to make color composite images from images taken with a color camera, like the cameras on the Olympus BX51 wide field fluorescence microscopes here at the IMB. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments in the comments below. We want these videos to be useful for our researchers, so feel free to make suggestions in the comments for future videos too. Thanks for watching.